I've been in, this, in the B2B e-commerce space for a while, and actually I was originally a skeptic when it came to leveraging multi-tenant SaaS platforms like BigCommerce for B2B e-commerce, but I think BigCommerce has done a fabulous job of creating that capability. From a B2B perspective, I think that the two requirements you should look at is catalog functionality, and by that what I mean is how many SKUs can your B2B platform uh, appropriately handle? How much SKU complexity to that catalog um, can it handle? So I think catalog management, and then I think the connectivity, because from a B2B perspective, you need your e-commerce platform to be able to integrate in a different way than you do in a B2C or D2C sort of scenario. So from a B2B perspective, you need that catalog management, and I think you need the um, integration capabilities that are part and parcel with an open SaaS platform like BigCommerce. So with B2B, you want to always have the uh, exploration of your products like a consumer explores as well. So I always feel that it's important for uh, don't just have this, you know, um, one line, enter your number and, and, and how many quantity you want and, and submit your order. You are presenting to customers that are retailers that are also learning about your products at the same time. In terms of features that I look for for B2B e-commerce, Two of the primary things are looking for support for a, a customer hierarchy, so an account structure that enables you to have multiple users per account, which Big Commerce offers in their B2B edition, and then also support for supporting a company's data model when it comes to complexity in terms of pricing or product, and, and Big Commerce has some great capabilities there as well. The two most important features in a B2B platform, I would definitely say ease of integration and speed. If you can do those two things, you can pretty much dominate the market and absolutely allow for that community building aspect of other applications to come in. Ease of use, um, while also providing the ability to customize and bring uh, whatever it is that fits best for your business uh, into the picture and the architecture allow them the tools that uh, allow them to get in and get out with their orders. Allow them a quick order grid on the product detail page so that they can um, be ordering the SKUs that they want that are the right colors and then the quantities that they want. But more importantly, having the ability for the sales team to be able to create orders and work with their customers and view the orders of those customers and help them complete them and help their, the sales reps really engage with the customer, but still, in, still having that digital um, capabilities of placing orders. So those are pretty important key pieces. First off, they should be making sure that it's extremely scalable, that it um, you know, meets the seasonality and also user demands of their consumers, but also that it's very flexible, that it enables them to actually incorporate their product listings and optimize those listings across all the multiple channels of where their customers shop. At the end of the day, it's about flexibility, right? You don't want to have the, the, the need to have to tie yourself to any one construct because no one business is the same as any other business. So flexibility is critical, scalability is critical, and then being able to deal with complexity in a simple way is critical. Big Commerce does that, and Feedonomics does that as well. Mm -hmm.